Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about Visual Studio 2012, some of the new features in ASP.NET 4.5. In this video, specifically OAuth. We use OAuth to log into social networking sites, but we can also use it to log into sites that we create. OAuth support is included in ASP.NET in all of the default templates, so you can use OAuth in web forms, web pages, MVC, whatever works for you. Let me switch over to Visual Studio. I'll go to File, New Project, and I can make an MVC or a web forms application. I'll pick web forms. Hit OK. And you'll notice that over in App Start, there is a file called Auth Config. Inside that file includes uh, a link to more information about OpenAuth, as well as some commented out bits of code that show me that I can set up Twitter or Facebook or Microsoft or Google by uncommenting these and putting in my secrets. If I run the application by itself, it looks like the default template. I can register for this site using membership. I can log in. This site here that says use another service to log in is not configured. Now, I've done this work ahead of time, so I'm just going to grab this auth config file and drop it into App Start. And I'm going to change the namespace to match my application. You've got my secrets for Twitter and Facebook there. I run the application. Hit Login. And then these buttons have lit up. Now this is set up to use membership. This means that this is in addition to the ASP.NET membership features that you already know how to use. You can add this to an existing membership database with minimal changes. Here I'm going to go and log in with Twitter. I'm redirected to Twitter. Notice it says Membership Test Damien Edwards. That's the name of the application that we set up ahead of time. Hit Sign In. Now we've redirected back from Twitter, and now it's saying Register with your Twitter account. Log in. Now I'm actually logged in to ASP.NET Membership at this point, but I'm logged in using an external account. I don't have a local password on the site. I could set up a local password. You notice that we're taking care of all the different complexities that one would need to deal with uh, in a situation like this. Someone might want to have a local account and then add an external account later. They might want to have multiple registered external logins. So for example here we've got Twitter. I could go and add in Facebook later or log in with my Google account. So now I'm logged in as Chancelman with both Google and Twitter. All of this OAuth support comes out of the box. You don't need a special template to use it. You just say File New Project and it works. We include Google, Microsoft, Twitter, and Facebook. And you could certainly add your own if you like. This all uses the open source library .NET OpenAuth. So this is just another example of where we've added open source to ASP.NET. I think it's a really great feature and I'm pretty excited about it and I hope you enjoy using it.